Hey, this is Cody, and I'll be showing you how to improve video quality. This, uh, this is from a uh, hold on. Uh, from the theater. Uh, you get when you upload clips from theater mode, and uh, this is what it looks like originally. I resized it to 1280 by 720, but it looks almost the same. I didn't really do anything with it. So I'll show you how to take this clip, and uh, I don't to turn it into this. You may think this is too oversaturated, but I like it. It's for montage clips. It looks better. Alright, so if you take the clip, you bring it into Sony Vegas, whichever version you have. Oh, wait, no. There we go. Oh, fuck. Okay. No! Okay, I'm gonna have to do that again. It's retarded. So you take the clip and put it in. I'm gonna put this down because I don't want to hear the music. Alright, so you got this raw file. Which, uh, I thought, uh, my friend told me that you would get 720p when you upload these clips, but no, it's not even. Well, I think it's 360p, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, first, uh, you go, wait, actually, you go to properties, you go to properties, uh, you uncheck maintain aspect ratio, and disable resample, and just check here to make sure it's progressive. Alright, so that should, what was that, oh, there we go, so that should make it, uh, stretch out, so you don't have any, uh, black borders at the top or on the side, and if you do have, uh, borders on the side, uh, you just pan with this, but it's good. So the first one, the one I usually do it in order. You go to sharpen. You go, just go to medium. Oops, fuck. Just go to medium. That should be enough. This can work with the, this works with the dazzle too, but with halo, it's more colorful. So you have to tone down the saturation, or it looks like crap. So now the second uh, one is color correction, the second one, secondary, not the first one. So I already have a pre-setting pre for both of them. So you add that on, uh, you can look at these settings, rotation hue, zero, saturation, I put it this three, you can put it down if you want, if you don't like it as saturated, but I like mine really saturated. Gamma. Point, <coughs> sorry, point eight nine six gain. Just leave it as is. Offset minus four point four. Alpha and I think that's about it. Uh, just I'll pause. It. I'll wait here for a second, and you can just like try to match them. All right, so. Next, uh, you get yeah, with the yeah, levels. You go to for my levels. I put in there like that. I put uh, zero for input start. I put zero point one four seven. Input end. I put zero point eight eight eight. I don't touch this one. I put this one zero point eight nine seven, and gamma one point zero seven eight. Alright, so, wait, this one more, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and uh, yeah, the last one, I, I like it, soft contrast, makes it, makes, distributes the colors better. So the stretch range will be 69.38, contrast 75.58, diffusion 26.57. And low trim 17.19, and I don't really touch the three ones. So, as you can see from all this, from where we started, if I take out all this, there's a huge difference. It looks kind of garbage now from what we had before. 
and it looks way better. So after uh, you're done this, you can add music, doesn't matter. So then you go to render as, you get whatever you want. Uh, you go to, well, what I do, I, I use WMV, and then I go to Camtasia and convert it to MP4. You, yeah, I use 720p. Uh, audio, I don't touch that. Video, wait, video. Okay, CBR, high definition, yeah, yeah. And this will be at 90. Just put it to 100 to make it look the best. Bit rate, I, this was uh, 6, I put it to 8. I don't know if that'll make a difference, but I just do it anyway. And for project, you go to best, and I don't really touch that because most people don't have 3D glasses, and yet, nor do I. Okay, so then you just save it. I'm not going to save it because I already have uh, the clip. Um, that's about it. Alright, peace.